one of the great things that Todd does in almost all his movies is he plays with you know what your sense of identity is and where it lies and I think that's always his great challenge is to kind of screw with it a little bit and see if if he put if he screws with it to such a degree will you still be able to find that identification and that satisfaction in the in the movie and in this movie I think you really do I mean, yeah, it's almost like, I mean, I think um, where you, when you said where it lies, it was, was, was interesting because um, I think this whole idea of identity is some, something that's intact, something that we're just sort of, that we have to just find as a whole, you know, um, uh, thing you know, inside ourselves that we're going to stick to and stay committed to our whole lives is a lie. It's something that really doesn't really happen. And in fact, it's something we're always working on and, and abridging and, and using outside influences to keep changing. Some of my films, I guess, look at people who think they know exactly who they are, and then there's a surprise, sometimes a disease, something where the body starts to kind of uh, rebel against the mind and force people into a crisis of identity. Mm -hmm where they have mm -hmm. to rethink everything mm -hmm. that they are. And sometimes they're Barbie dolls. And sometimes <laughs> they're Barbie dolls. But then there are movies like Velvet Goldmine and like I'm Not There where you look at moments in pop culture where identity is called into question in an affirmative way and gives, um, in, in the case of Velvet Goldmine and I guess in this movie as well, gives young people uh, uh, the, the option to not feel stuck and not feel like they have to find something solid and unintractable, you know, to, yeah. to, to uh, use as a way of understanding who they are. And that was something like the glam era provided for teenagers, the sense of dressing yourself up every day and almost dressing up sexuality as well. Mm -hmm. and not be something that's necessarily even considered natural, mm -hmm. but something where you know there's a liberation in it, looking at it as something unnatural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in the Dylan story, he's just somebody who resisted. I mean, everyone wanted him to be this identity and provide yeah. Yeah. assurance to their own yeah. identity. Yeah. And I think he was always frustrating that for people. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot to learn from that, a lot to take from that. Yeah. I mean, it's true that this had a higher stakes. I mean, in a way, it maybe we, maybe we, we were misled into thinking that I, I felt I'd, I'd earned some sort of creative capital after after Far From Heaven that was going to allow me to do this film about a very famous, well-known American icon um, on my own terms and sort of uh, taking a cue from how much he uh, broadened the, the medium of popular song. And in fact, we were met with the same restrictions and fears that were met with in every single movie, even with this extraordinary cast mm -hmm. and with Dylan's mm -hmm. blessing, you know. So I don't know if that's a testament to the market, that it's harder now. I don't know if that's just well, what always the, the cultural climate shifted under our feet also as yeah. we were making it. I mean, yeah. I think we became even more risk averse than we ever were, although yeah. it seems like... The industry. It did, we the industry. We the industry. Would, I mean, and that seems like, how's it possible to get more risk averse yeah. than we were five, ten years ago, but we are. So all of those things were kind of happening, but, you know, it, it just was, it, it, the cast, we needed the cast that we got uh, in order to make the movie, and, um, and that, that made it, you know, that, that, that really enabled us to pull it together. Yeah, yeah. but even that? It wasn't an easy task, and, no. we, had, we, we went through the no, corridors. No, because it's about making it, about pulling it together, and pulling it together so that Todd can make the movie. Right. And it was a tough script. I, mean, I, I was never under any illusion that that was not the case. Yeah. And, and it's amazing that actors like this read that same script that most studios and classics divisions passed on, and saw something in it that they wanted to risk in their own careers yeah. and jump into and take on. And that says a lot about actors today, that they're really um, adventurous, that they're artists, that they really want to be challenged, even when they have... Well, they're kind of the only ones who can be. Yeah. 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 And they look for directors and works that help that happen, make yeah. that happen. Yeah. You know? Congratulations. Thank you.